Welcome to this presentation on Talons, a site-specific nucleus used in precision genome editing. Site-specific nucleases are proteins that produce a break in a strand of DNA or RNA. Site-specific nucleases can be designed to target nearly any DNA sequence, and when paired with an appropriate repair mechanism, site-specific nucleases can be used to produce precise insertions, deletions, and substitutions in genetic sequences. Here is a diagram of several site-specific nucleases. Talons are very similar to zinc finger nucleases. The site specificity in both of these systems is determined by a customizable sequence-specific DNA binding domain, which is indicated here with green arrows. This sequence-specific DNA binding domain is the principal difference between zinc finger nucleases and talons. In both systems, the DNA binding domain is fused to a FOC1 nuclease, which is indicated here by the orange arrow. The sequence-specific DNA binding domain of talons is composed of highly conserved repeats derived from tals. Tals are proteins excreted by the bacteria Xanthomonas to regulate the transcription of rice genes. Compared to zinc finger nucleases, the sequence-specific binding domains in talons pair with only a single base, and they are less complex for researchers to design and fabricate. Additionally, the binding domains of talons do not appear to interfere with each other. The specificity of each tal is usually defined by just two residues within the repeat. The sequence of letters indicated with the red arrow represents the amino acids in one tal, and the highlighted amino acids are the residues that confer the base specificity of the tal. When used in combination with an appropriate repair mechanism, talons can be used to induce insertions, deletions, as well as modifications to genetic sequences. The type of sequence change is dependent on the presence or absence of repaired template DNA introduced with the site-specific nuclease. In non-homologous end-joining, a double-strand break is induced in a strand of DNA. During repair, a small number of bases can be added or removed. This is shown in Part A of the diagram. These small changes can result in a Franchet mutation that results in a loss of function of the gene. Other changes, like large deletions, inversions, and translocations, can also be achieved in non-homologous end-joining. These are shown in Part B of the diagram. If DNA is introduced into the cell at the same time as the site-specific nuclease, sometimes this DNA will be inserted into the break site. This is referred to as non-homologous injoining when the introduced DNA does not share sequence similarity with the breakpoint. This is also shown in Part A of the diagram. And homologous recombination mediated repair when the introduced DNA does share similarity with the breakpoint, as shown in Part C of the diagram. One interesting example of the use of talons is to produce gene knockouts to develop disease immune crop varieties. Researchers at Iowa State University successfully used talons to knock out a bacterial leaf blight susceptibility gene in rice. It is interesting that researchers would use talons in this way because this is the system from which talons were originally derived. Basically, the bacteria Xanthomonas uses a tal system to increase the transcription of a rice gene which encourages the transport of sugars to infected cells. The researchers were able to use talons to produce several rice mutant lines, and they were able to demonstrate that transcription of the susceptibility gene was significantly lower in some of the mutants compared to the wild type when infected with xanthomonas. Part F of this diagram demonstrates the phenotype of the wild type and two of the mutant alleles. The wild type allele shown on the bottom is depicted here as being susceptible to the pathogen, while two of the mutant types are shown to be resistant to the pathogen, demonstrating the utility of the gene knockout to interfere with the pathogen virulence gene and conferring resistance to the host. If you are interested in learning more about talons, check out these publications. Precision Genome Engineering and Agriculture, Opportunities and Regulatory Challenges by Dr. Dan Voitas. The University of Minnesota professor who is also the chief scientific officer of Calixt, a company headquartered in Roseville, Minnesota, that uses talons to improve productivity in soybean, potato, and canola. This review provides a nice overview of site-specific nucleases, double strand break repair, and their use in genome modification. Also, talons, a widely applicable technology for targeted genome editing by Dr. Keith Zhuang. This review provides more in-depth information on the structure and function of talons. Finally, for more information on the mechanisms of double strand break repair, I recommend the textbook Molecular Biology of the Gene by Dr. James Watson. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to talons.